Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Paychecks and Prayers. Here in our channel, you'll see some cash stuffing videos of our expenses, some savings goals, and occasionally we'll do a cash condensing video and exchange our real bills for prop bills to then take back to the bank. Please stick around and join me on our video today. Well, hi friends, how's it going for you today? I'm so excited to do our January recap video and this is our cash condensing and bill swap video. If you don't know what that is, I am basically taking out some of our real bills, like I say in my intro, and exchanging them for prop bills. And what that does is I will take the real bills and put them back into our savings. And I have you know, certain savings categories and the prop money is in our envelopes to represent the amount that we have for that certain category. If you guys don't know already, I have partnered up before with Rose Forever. And right now I did wanna show you this beautiful bouquet that they sent to me for me to share with you guys. So Rose Forever sent me this beautiful large bouquet of white roses. They are stunning and they smell amazing. Rose Forever has a wide range of flowers. They are all handmade by professionals and they ship worldwide. If you guys want a discount, you can go ahead and use my new discount code that I will have displayed here for you guys so you can get $25 off your first order. And Rose Forever has a special going on as well for all of our Valentine's Day bouquets. So go ahead and check those out as well. I will have the link in the description down below, you guys. But these are just absolutely stunning. They are real fresh roses that are preserved and they will last you for over a year. Every time I walk into my home and I see my beautiful Rose Forevers right at my coffee table, I am just always taken aback of how beautiful and organic it looks and it just fits with my style. Of course, you guys know I love the black and the white. I absolutely love Rose Forever and I cannot thank them enough for sending me this gorgeous bouquet. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into our cash condensing video. I truly hope that you guys, you know, get a bouquet for yourselves or even for your loved ones for Valentine's Day. Don't forget to use my discount code that will help you save $25. All right, you guys, I hope that you um, can go ahead and check out Rose Forever if you are interested. I have linked down below the um, discount code you can use and yeah, go ahead and check them out. So for this video, I did stuff a little different. I went ahead and I put in my ending balances per category and I already did the math on the right-hand side for the difference between the starting balance and the ending balance. Our starting balance is the starting balance from the end of December, 2023, and now our ending balance for January is on this column. So the difference between the two is the change for that envelope. Here I have $800 that we will be using and this money I will take out from the final count. This will go straight to our bank account as well, but right now I just have $800 so that we can start using money from exchanges and some prop money. So let's go ahead and dive right into a high priority binder. I did wanna take some money back from this binder because I did realize I have a lot of money sitting in here that I could put into my savings and we're doing pretty well with keeping everything, you know, on track. I do have a like a, a piece of paper written down all the categories that we have in our specific savings. So that's how I keep track of that as well. And, you know, the prop money does help to know how much money you have in each of our categories. So for the high priority binder in annual fees, I'll be taking out five hundred dollars. One, two, three, four, five hundred is coming out and we will be putting a $500 prop bill, but we have in total five, six, seven, eight hundred and ten. These ones I'll set aside for our $1 bill savings challenge. So that is fully condensed there. Association is ending with $152. So I did want to probably leave that 50 and the two, so this should be 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100, perfect. So we'll put all of this down and condense that down to 100. Oh wait, I am taking this 100 back to the bank, so I will 
grab a prop bill. So 152 will be in, or 100 will be in our savings, 52 in cash for that one. Car insurance should end with 440. One, two, three, 400, 25, 35, 40. Okay, so we are taking back $200. Okay, so we have 200, 25, 35, 40. So we'll trade these in for a 20. So that one is fully condensed there. Car maintenance. Car maintenance, we're gonna leave in cash and it has one, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 75. So 475, let's go ahead and trade this in and we will leave a 20 and a five. So this should be 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50. That is correct. All right, one, two, three, four hundred and seventy-five. Car registration has forty dollars. Twenty-five, thirty-five, forty. So we'll trade this in for a twenty. So that's forty in there. Costco is empty. Household has ten dollars five ten we'll take these ones out for our one dollar bill savings let's grab a ten perfect toiletries has sixty five dollars twenty thirty forty fifty sixty five let's grab some decent bills at least So 65 for toiletries. Medical. Medical has $2,300. And that is fully condensed there. Dental. For dental, I know we are taking some money back. So we have five, six, seven, eight hundred in the bank already. That's our prop money. So we will trade this in for a 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 200. All right. So for dental, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000. So we will put all this down and we will grab a $1,000 prop slip. Awesome. All right, for vision, we are taking back to the bank the cash. So we have five, six hundred, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. So we will put all of this down for a one thousand dollar prop. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five hundred. So this is five hundred. Alrighty, and these two dollars will put to our dollar savings challenge. So we have one thousand five hundred and seventy. Is that correct? No, we have one thousand six hundred and seventy. Okay, one thousand five six hundred and seventy. There we go. Now that's correct. Alrighty, for our puppy, he has one hundred and twenty-five dollars. We'll take that dollar out. And that is fully condensed. For our month ahead, we should be taking back 100. This is $3,000, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95. So 100 here. Awesome. So 3,100 for month ahead. And our just in case is fully funded. Wow, look at that difference. A lot of exchanging there. So in total for our high priority, we had $11,187 total between all of our categories. And that was a positive change of close to $800. Very good. All right, you guys, now moving into our low priority binder. In Manifest, we are taking back to the bank $100. 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. So let me go ahead and put this down. And 
grab a 100 slip. So we have $1,100 for manifest. Anniversary is empty. Beauty has 225, I believe. 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 210, 25. So let's leave 20 and 5. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 50, 70, 90, 210. Sorry, 50, 70, 90, 110. 30, 50, 70, 90, 200. Okay, and we are leaving that in cash for beauty. All right, cheers is empty. For clothing, we should have $470. One, two, 300, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 30, 40, 55, 65, 70. So let's leave a 50 and a decent 20. Okay, so this should be $100. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. Yep, this is. 100, sorry, this is $100. And we are leaving clothing in cash. So one, two, three, 470, that is correct. All right, date night should have 70 and that's what it has, 70. Gardening is empty. Gifts should have $100, and we will leave it in 250s. I'll take the ones out for a dollar savings challenge. So that is condensed there. Going out has nothing. Hobbies has nothing. Home decor should have $100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And we are leaving that in cash in this envelope. So home decor has 100. Hosting is also empty. This one, this binder took a huge hit this month. Splurge should have 210, 150, 70, 80, 90. So this is 210. That is correct. So let's put all this down. Let's get a decent 10 and a 100. So 210 is what we have for splurge. Technology. Technology should have $100, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95. So this is 100. So 100 for technology. Alrighty, and that does that for our low priority binder. All in all, we have a total ending balance of $2,375. Last month it was $4,515. So that took a huge hit of $2,140 spent within each of our categories. The majority came from our anniversary and that was just a huge spend for us and you should have seen that already in our unstuffing video Alrighty, one binder that definitely did not take a huge hit but we have a lot of money to take back to the bank from so this is our vacation binder and starting off with airfare we're taking back four hundred dollars one two three hundred twenty forty sixty eighty four hundred so all of this is going on the tray we are taking all of this back. So we need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four hundred dollars for airfare. Awesome, you guys. Lodging should have six hundred and forty. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred and forty. And six hundred of it is going to our savings. So, lodging still has 640. 
Excursions. Excursions, we are taking back $100 from here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. Has 140, so I'll leave two 20s. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Perfect. So 140 for excursions. Food and drinks should have 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 120. So we'll leave a 20 and put all of this down so we can get a prop 100. I'm actually gonna move these back so I can just have the hundreds available. So 120 for food and drinks. And same thing for all of these other categories, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 120. Okay, that's for transportation. Next up, souvenirs, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 120. Spending, spending I believe we are leaving Oh, no, we are taking it with us. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 120. All right. For tips, I believe we are leaving this. Yes, we are. So tips is staying. And tips has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 120. I will actually, for this one, grab two 50s. So 120 there. Spa, we are taking 100 out. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, and, 10, and 20, sorry. So let's leave one of the better 20s. All right, and lastly will be miscellaneous, and we are leaving this in cash, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And I'll just leave it like this. It's not going to bother us, and at least we have some smaller bills. So that does that for the condensing of this vacation binder. All in all, our ending total balance was $2,000, so that was an increase of 1000 from last month, not too bad. All right, you guys, moving into our holidays binder. This one definitely needs a little cash condensing. For New Year's, it has $200 and that is fully condensed for Valentine's Day. I'm definitely keeping this 100. Look how cool that looks. I love it, it's from 1990. So this should be $150. We completed this in our last um, savings challenge video. So this should be 250. 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 150. So we'll keep that 50. We'll put this all down. And I'm gonna separate the ones now. So these ones belong to what's going back to the bank to exchange. And we will give this a $100. So we have $250 for Valentine's Day. Easter. Easter should have, I believe, $100. Yep, $150. $51, 20, $10, $25, $35, $45, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $120, $150, $200, $250, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $900, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
25 and 26. 126 for Mother's Day. Father's Day has $89. 50, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and that is fully condensed. 4th of July should have $65. 20, 45, 50, sorry, 20, 40, 55, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 65 is correct. 20, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we'll put this down for 50. Halloween should just have $8, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that is correct. Let me just get a better $1. Awesome. And Thanksgiving does not have anything in it yet. And for Christmas, we have one, two, three, four hundred in our savings. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 429 is correct. And that is fully condensed. Awesome. Look at that. So the total amount saved for our holidays is 1,317 in that entire binder. We had a huge um, hit on this one because we did unstuff all of our expenses for Christmas, which was a total of $2,383 change. And if you noticed in my unstuffing video, a lot of this came from anniversary, but there is a lot of explanation there. So you can go ahead and check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But yes, the difference between 3,485 from last month to this month is a negative change of 2,168 in our holidays binder. Alrighty, in our boat binder for repair and maintenance, I did want to take some money back to the bank. So for this one, we are taking back $600. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 600. So all of this is coming out. And we are putting five, 600 for repair and maintenance in the boat. And that will go into our savings. Registration, we, all, we will also be taking out money from here. We're taking out $100, 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's the total in that envelope. So 120 for registration. Equipment. Equipment has $240 and we will be taking back $200. Let's trade this in for 220s. So one and two. So 240 is correct for equipment. All right, for the boat gas. We are taking back $300 for the boat gas. So 1, 200, 50, 70, 90, 95, and 300. 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 95, 300. Okay, 300 is coming out. So 1, 2, 300. And then to condense the rest, we have 20, 45, 50. So there we go, 350 for our boat gas. All right, and for fishing gear, we should have $320. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 320. And for gear, we are taking back $300. So that's 200 and we are leaving 20, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So put all of this down and take another $100 prop. So $320 for fishing gear. Awesome.
All right, lastly is our miscellaneous envelope. And I believe we are leaving this one in cash. But in here we have 120. 100, 5, 10, 15, 20. So we will trade these fives in for 120. Perfect. That was a good condensing there. Like I mentioned, we are taking a lot of money back to the bank, so this should be an interesting count. All right, so all in all for our boat binder, we have $1,750 saved for our boat expenses. And from last month, from $1,350 to $1,750, that was a positive change of $400. For this entire page between our holidays and our boat binder, so together they have a total of $3,067. From last month of $4,835, that was a negative change of $1,070, I'm sorry, $1,768. Are right, you guys, I won't be condensing my um, business binder because it was the first month I stuffed it really it was for January. I just wanted to show you that I did write everything down and the only one that did have a change was my YouTube envelope. Like I mentioned before, I did take some money out so that I can give um, that money to the winners. So that was a negative change of 75 there. Now our next binders that we're going into is our savings challenge binders. Alrighty, let's go ahead and condense these a little bit. I am skipping the $1 envelope savings challenge for now, but in our $5 envelope, we should have 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, which is correct. So to condense it a little bit, we are taking a 20 and a 10. Alrighty, and for the $10 bill savings challenge, we have 10, 20, 30, $40. So two 20s there, so 40 for our $10 bill savings challenge. Our $20 bill savings challenge has 20, 40, 60, 80 dollars. So 50, 70, 80. Perfect. So that is 80 dollars there. For our $1,000 savings challenge, we should have $400 here. 1, 2, 250, 70, 90, 310, 30, 50, 70, 90, 400. So let's go ahead and condense this a little bit. So 1, 2, Three, so $400 saved so far. Awesome. Moving on to our $500 savings challenge. In here, we should have 105, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 105 dollars. So 105 will be going back in here. All right, for our 52 week savings challenge, we should have 100, we should have $115 in here, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 115. That's what we have, 115, awesome. That one is fully condensed, except for the $1 bill um, savings challenge, which I'll come back to the very end. Alrighty, going into our mystery scratch-offs, let's go ahead and see if we can condense these a little bit. In total, between the three, we've saved $290 from our previous month for 250 but there's real no comparison because I believe we did take this money out. So really we're starting off with 290, but we'll just leave it at that. I just copied the numbers from last month. So we had an increase of 40. 20, 40, 55, 60 is in the first envelope. Let's just get some better bills. So 
So a 50 and a 10 for 60. Awesome. The next envelope has 50, 70, 80, 90, 110. So let's put all of this down. All right, so 110 for this one. And lastly, for our $600 scratch off, this one has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 15, 20. Yep, so 120 for the $600 scratch off. And let's trade this in for a 100. All right, for roll the dice, this one should have $44. 10, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 2, 3, 4. So 44 for this one. We will trade all of this in. We will keep 1, 2, 3, 4 and take out two 20s. So 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Perfect. I love this savings challenge. It's so fun. All right. Stuffopoly has 50, 70, 90, 110, 135, 40, 41, 42. So $142. Okay. We will trade all of this in. Grab a 100, so 120, 40, 1, 2. For our savings lens, 2, we have saved 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. All right. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. All of this is going down for a 50. All right, so that is 91 for savings land. For our rainy day savings, we have 20, 40, 65. And you know what? We will just leave it like that. It's not going to bother me. It's so small anyways. This one needs a huge condes condensing. This is our $1,000 emergency fund savings challenge. Currently, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70. So $570. So it should be 150. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 50. That is correct. These are some great bills too. Wow. All right. One, two, three, four. Oops, forgot our 100. So 500. One, two, three, four, 570. That is correct and fully condensed. Wow. Great progress there. For our I am enough savings challenge, this one should have 550. One, two, three, four, 550. Perfect. So let's put these all down for 200. And there we have it. One, two, three, four, 550. Perfect. That is a fully condensed savings challenge binder. All right, let's go back up to the top to our $1 bill savings challenge, you guys. I'm gonna be adding these $1. Let's see, 
Let's go ahead and crack this open and let's count how much we saved for the month of January. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, and 2. So we managed to save for the month of January $72. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and leave our bus $2 behind. And let's go ahead and grab $70. So a 50 and a 20. So 72, I will take this out after recording this video and I will wipe it out so we can start fresh for February. But $72 is what we saved so far in our $1 savings challenge, you guys. That is awesome. All right, let's tally these totals up real quick. Look how fully condensed that is. All right, let's tally these up. So in our first binder, we have a total saved of $842 in the first binder out of 200 from last month. So that was a positive change of $642 saved for the month of January. That's awesome. Alrighty, and our second binder savings. Let's see how much we have saved for the month of January. So on this binder, we have $1,752. Last month we had $1,752. So this column totals to 1,461. And that was a positive change of $291. Great progress there. All right, so 842 plus 1,752. That was a total of 2,000. $594 between our two savings binders. And if we subtract that from 1941 from last month, that is a positive change of $653 saved for the month of January. That is awesome. All right, we are going to add the total between all the pages and see how much we have in all of our savings binders. I'll be right back. So in total, we have, between all of our cash binders, $21,484. So that was a negative change from last month of 1,900, I'm sorry, $1,195. Not too bad for a lot of the spending that we had, but we did cash stuff, you know, as normal so there was no really big decrease in my opinion there we did pretty good now you guys for the moment of truth this is a crazy amount of money to count let's see how much money we will be taking back to the bank this month this is insane all right, I will need some sort quick. Let's give this all a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this is 2,000, 
2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is $2,700. Let me just keep a running tally here. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So this is 500. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. So this is another 500. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, and 40. Let me get this out of the way real quick. All right, and now for the tens. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right. Now for the fives, we have five, oops, five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, let me count that again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 35. Alrighty, lastly we have the ones. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40. so this is $50. All right, if this is even 6,000, we should have 25 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, guys. $6,000 is what's going back to the bank this month. Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe down below. And remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my future videos. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And thank you so much for your constant love and support to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. God bless. Mm -hmm.